Welcome back. May arriving on Monday, and that marks the start of swim season and National Water Safety Month. According to the CDC and the U.S. Swimming Foundation, drowning is the number one cause of accidental death in young children. But swim lessons can reduce that risk by 88%. So we brought not one, not two, but three gold medalists to Studio 1A this morning to answer some questions and also to debunk some myths as well. NBC Sports Analyst and Olympian Rowdy Gaines, who's a paid spokesperson for Step Into Swim. Also Olympic swimmers Missy Franklin and Cullen Jones. Always good to have Olympic gold medalists in the studio, but especially when they're talking about something uh, that's so important. So good to have all of you this morning. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for having and Rowdy, you've been, you've been preaching this sermon for yeah. a long time now. For folks who are not familiar with, with Step Into Swim, what is it and what's the, the chief aim of the organization? Well, it's the water safety initiative, Craig, of the Pool and Hot Tub Alliance. And our mission is really simple. We really want to try to save lives and create more swimmers through swim lessons. So we provide these grants to lesson providers around the country, specifically targeting those communities that could not afford them. And I mean, we hit... We affected 23,000 kids last year. We're going to be a lot more this year. Missy, for, for folks who might be watching or, or listening, and they'll, they'll say, you know, I don't have a pool, and we don't really go around water that often. Why is swim lessons, why are swim lessons still so important? Even if you don't have direct access to water right now, water is still going to be a part of your child's life forever. And we believe that the earlier you can get them in, the better. So even if you don't have a pool in your backyard, yeah. you're not going every day, the earlier you can get them in the water, get them used to it, get them a little bit more comfortable, we just think that that's so important. Again, Cullen, we've talked about this before, but, yeah. but black kids especially, yes. five times more likely to drown yeah. than, than their white peers, and you've been working for a number of years to change that. What are, what are you doing? Tell folks about your, your You know, work. Craig, I mean, we the three of us have been ambassadors, like you said, for a very long time around this. You know, 64% of black Americans don't know how to swim, 56% uh, of Latinos don't know how to swim, and 38% of Caucasians don't know how to swim. So this is a problem all over the U.S., but, you know, uh, with organizations like Step Into Swim, uh, Speedo Swim United, I mean, we have USA Swimming that's behind us. We've been doing this for so long that we are just trying to get the message out there, learn to swim, and try to drop these drowning rates. So let's spend some time here debunking some myths now. Missy, we'll start with you. <laughs> we'll start with, with myth one. Yeah. Floaties, good for kids, especially when they're just learning to swim. Yeah. Is that not true? So here's the thing. We're not here to shame. We're not here to tell parents they're doing anything wrong. I think the big thing for all of us when it comes to floaties is what they do is they give your child a false sense of security right. in the water. Uh, so if they're wearing floaties, they think that they're safe in the water. So the next time they see a body of water, they might go running towards it thinking that they are safe. And if they've not had some lessons, yeah. if they do not have a water watcher there with them, we really don't want anything horrible to happen. So so if you absolutely have to use floaties, do what you need to do, but just know as a parent what that's doing for your child and for you as well, sure. for you to know that they're not safe just because they have a flotation device. False sense of security. Yeah. Plus those things can pop or fall yep. off. Exactly. Or, yeah. uh, myth number two here, Cullen. Yeah. Um, it's, it's obvious when someone is drowning, it's apparent when they're in the pool. Oh, biggest myth. Um, I had humble beginnings at a water park where my parents were there, lifeguards were there, and I was still able to go underwater. And most of the time we see in theater, it's like help who help and you think that someone's gonna be struggling and calling out But sometimes that's not what happens. I went underwater and did not know how to get up and I, uh, get out And I had to be resuscitated. So yeah. that is a big myth. I want people to understand there is no um, You have to get swim lessons yeah, formal yeah. swim lessons. That's the only answer to this this water watcher That's yeah. that we reference here on the yeah. screen. What's what's a water watcher? Honestly, I, I say anyone yeah. anyone that is yeah. around the pool can be a water watcher an adult an sure. adult yeah. is a water watcher You don't want to necessarily have a lifeguard watching 500 kids everyone right. should be and that is even with swim lessons yeah. Even if your child has yes. been in swim lessons yes. and is competent in swimming if you are the adult if you are the guardian You need to be paying attention at all times when your children are in the water. rowdy last myth here number three like swimming's like riding a bike. Once you learn, you're set for life. You don't need lessons anymore. Well, Craig, at that early age, they don't have the acumen yet to be able to learn how to ride that bicycle. It's like when you teach your kid to ride it at five years old, maybe it, as they age, but that two and three year old definitely need those refresher courses. And again, we can talk about swim lessons all we want, but main point I want to get across is I'm begging parents, please do not take your eyes 
off your child when they're in or around water. What's the ideal age, by the way, really quickly to start swim lessons? What do you think? <laughs> I had my son Avon at six months. And so I had my yeah. daughter Caitlin in at six months too, but Colin as has As soon the... as they learn how to walk, they're yeah. going to escape from that. They're going to get As soon as they can walk, you should yep. get them in lessons. Yep. Get them yeah. in lessons. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all so Thank much. You. Thanks for all the work you're doing, Rowdy, Missy, Colin. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.